Hello engineers, in this video lesson we're going to learn how to make a Lego brick. Go ahead and fire up Autodesk Inventor and start a new part. Make sure in your tools tab your document settings and units are set to millimeters for the length. Apply and close, go back to 3D model. Go ahead and click on Start 2D Sketch. And one thing we want to just make note of, the view cube here is showing front in this direction. So we're actually going to draw on the XZ plane to start. And then we're going to go back to the view cube here, flip it, rotate it uh, to the left one time. Click on your rectangle tool, click on your origin, and the length is going to be 31.8 and tab down and 15.8 for the depth that's what you should see on your screen finish the sketch click extrude and we're going to extrude that by 9.6 click OK and now we're going to add the little studs on top so you can hover over the top, right click, new sketch, and again, just the view cube if it rotated like mine did, make sure that you're in this orientation. Click on the circle tool, click anywhere, doesn't matter where on the surface, for right now we'll locate it later. And that diameter is going to be 5, tap escape. And again, if you grab it by the center, you'll be able to move it wherever you want. So let's locate it. Click Dimension. Click the circle. Click this edge. Bring it to the left. That's going to be 3.9 millimeters. And repeat that. So click the circle. Click the left side here. Bring it up. Click. And that is again 3.9. Finish the sketch. Click Extrude. Uh, if it didn't automatically do it like mine, go ahead and click on that circle that you created. And that height is going to be 1.7. And press Enter. Now, that was the easy part. We're going to use the Rectangle Pattern tool to create the studs without having to draw each and every single one. Click the Rectangle Pattern tool here. And then select the stud feature, the little, the little, I don't I think they're called studs. Okay, so I did a really quick Google search. They are called studs or knobs. And then the internal structures are called tubes. Good to know. Fun fact of the day. So once you have your stud selected, you're going to click on direction one. And we're going to click on this edge. And we want that number to be... Sorry about that. Let's try that again. I'm going to click on the rectangle pattern. Click on the stud. Click direction 1. Click on that edge. We want that to be uh, 2 with a distance. Set that distance there to 8. And then click on direction number 2. And we're going to click this line, this edge. And again, we want that to be distance. And we're going to click on... 8, I'm sorry, 4, it should be 4 with a distance of 24, and we'll get a nice even pattern, and there's your studs. Okay. The next thing we want to do is shell out the bottom. So on the view cube, click, so that you click one of these corners so that you can see the bottom. And go ahead and click Shell. And we're going to click on the bottom surface. And the shell thickness is going to be 1.49. And then click OK. Now, if you've ever seen the inside of Lego brick, you'll know that there's little tubes there. So what we're going to do is, on this inside here, we're going to draw those tubes. Or we're going to create those tubes. So right click on the inside, click new sketch, 
And we're going to use the line tool to help us with centering those tubes. So what you'll do is click on the line tool, hover over these circles until you see that center point pop up and you're going to click and then you're going to do, and you're going to move it diagonally to this one here in the bottom left and you're going to make sure you snap to that center and click one time tap escape okay now we're going to right click on that line and click construction so that it doesn't affect anything that we do later on here then click on your circle tool find the midpoint here and it'll it'll snap to it and turn green and the diameter of this tube here is going to be <clears throat> excuse me 6.3 and then we're going to use the offset tool to draw a circle on the inside so click offset click that circle you just drew move your mouse towards the center and press 1 enter and you have the beginning of your tube click finish sketch so that's how you you know there's there's the beginning parts of your tube I'm gonna go and click on bottom so I can see that again click extrude and then hover over the donut part the tube part and then make sure that you can see it in three dimensions now there's a couple ways you can do this you can do the distance of 8.1 or there's this beautiful button here it says 2 right so if I click 2 and then I click this surface it'll just automatically do that for us which is pretty neat that's 8.11 or 8.1 if you want to round and then click OK and again we're gonna use the rectangle pattern tool so find that click rectangle pattern click on the feature click on direction one this time we're going to select this edge we want three with a distance of i believe 16. yep click ok and there you have your lego brick tubes go ahead and click the home now we need to clean up the studs we're going to add the fillets so click on fillet and the fillets all the fillets are going to be 0 0.2 and you're going to fill it the four edges just like that and then each of the studs so click on just the circle part of the studs if you select anything else by accident press escape and start over um, that's the easiest way I have been able to just fix my mistake and then click OK. Now we don't want just a you know gray generic brick. Go into the materials up top and we're gonna select ABS plastic. Go to tools, appearance. I'm sorry, not appearance, tools adjust, and you're gonna get your color wheel to pop up and this this little button right here, you can click and drag that around. And go ahead and pick a color that you like. And we're going to click and drag across the whole brick. I'm sorry, that, that did not make sense. Let's try that again. So you click adjust, you click and drag across the entire brick, and then you select the inside diamond square shape is how dark or light your color is, and then the outside color wheel is the actual color so I'm gonna make mine this blue and then check and now I have a fully colored Lego brick if you haven't saved yet you can press control s or click the little save button right here and I'm gonna name this blue Lego brick and my name Cruz I'm gonna click save and the next video is going to be how to make the technical drawing so this video is only about making the 3d model uh, there are some things that you should know how to do within each model so i'm going to quickly cover that go to file i properties 
the physical tab, when we update that button right here, there's a lot of information here that's on the NOCTI exam and the Autodesk certification exam. You need to be able to find the type of material for a part. So for example, you'll get a part file and you'll have to open it up and then it'll ask you what's the material and then you'll have to go in here and find the material. It'll also ask you sometimes for the density, the mass, how much area, volume, the center of gravity in the X or Y or Z direction. And typically that's all you really need. Um, there are, in some instances, it's going to ask you for the information in the center of gravity button. So it might ask you for mass moments like IXX and, and so on. So it's really important that you know where to access that because you're going to be opening files and 3D models and it's going to ask you, you know, what, you know, the density is or if the part was changed from ABS to copper, uh, what changes in the mass and you'd have to, you know, copy the information and put it into the answer box. It's also crucial that you know how to use the browser here. So it might ask you something like, go to Sketch 1, and you're like, well, I don't see Sketch 1. No, you don't see Sketch 1 right off the bat. You have to click the little plus button right here, and then you'll see Sketch 1. And then you'll have to right click it and edit it, or measure, or turn off visibility, or show relationships. And also, how to edit extrusions, or edit patterns. Again, it's simple right click on whatever it's asking you to do and find the task it's asking you to do. You might have to edit the feature. So if I click on edit feature, um, my extrusion for the studs was 1.7. It might say something like, now change it to 1.9 and click OK. And then it'll update across the whole part. And then you'll have to go back in here, go to eye properties and figure out what changed. So that's important to know for exam purposes. Uh, good luck making your Lego brick model. In the video next video, you're going to learn how to make the technical drawing, which is going to look similar to the technical drawing you see on screen. This one is using the sheets that are provided by Autodesk. You can use your custom template if you want. And just take note, you can look at this and see the expectation for the technical drawing.